Hello everyone, and we are on episode 11 of season 2. We just finished uh, going through this gas station in the previous episode, if you haven't seen it or not. And otherwise, we're going to be continuing on down the road to see what happens. Need to be paying a little bit more attention, I guess. Not a great way to start off the episode, I'd say. Yeah, I was just looking around to see what's around here, but... Yeah, there's a couple stops around, but we don't really need them. We're quite stocked up. So, for the most part, we're going to be just driving to try and get some extra progress made. It looks like we might be driving into a storm for once. Usually they're off to the side. So I'm curious to know if anything happens, if you're near the storms as well or not. Oh, we might not be going to the storm. Yeah, something we might be doing is trying a different vehicle with this type of engine. Because people have been saying in the comments that with the steering issues that I've been having for a while, where it's kind of like it likes to like rock back and forth the vehicle. It doesn't stay like steady on the road. So in the comments it's been said that uh, this uh, hatchback vehicle pretty much like a station wagon uh, it is just one of the poorer vehicles for handling in this game especially with the um, larger tires the ones with the white wall on them or the white ring it gives it a bit more clearance so I don't have to worry about all the tiny rocks on the road but yeah it seems to make a difference for oh gotta watch those ones out but it seems to make a bit of a difference for the smaller rocks on the road that you don't have to watch out for. But those ones back there were pretty big. And that one would have been quite a speed bump too. But like that little one that we just passed, didn't even notice it. So yeah, we... Might be trying out a different car if I come across one or not. Otherwise, my general plan is to find one of those uh, big trucks, but with the camper module on the back of it. I haven't found one yet in the game of any of my gameplay, but I believe it's in the general game. I don't play any modded. Uh, like, this isn't a modded one here that I'm playing. So that's where, hopefully it's not a modded option that the camper module was, but I don't think so. But most of the streamers that I've seen that play this game, it's always been modded. So there is some differences that I've come across already from this one to the gameplays that I've watched. So that's where for this, my purpose uh, of doing recordings is to show you guys the way the game is without no mods, nothing, just the plain game and just going for it. I don't cut nothing out either usually. Uh, well, if you look in the descriptions of the videos, I usually kind of describe what I'm doing or what's going on. So for in there, I usually have I don't cut it out unless if it's like long time looting or if I'm uh, looking online for like if I'm curious about something like for different engines what they are stuff like that I might pause it or I might just leave it going and then I'll kind of read out to you guys as I'm looking it up and stuff like that but yeah this is more of just a general teaching kind of channel I guess of the general gameplay and to show you guys 
just letting you know what you're getting into if you haven't bought the game yet. Or even for stuff that you're unsure of, well, here we eventually, I'm sure, will have an answer for most questions. That storm isn't very far away when we get more in line with it that's like beside us. I might even decide to like drive to it and see what happens. If anything happens or not, but that's a bit of a curiosity to me, I'd say. Is it like a tornado that like picks you up and like throws you somewhere through the sky? We're flipping. Yeah, apparently this issue here is mainly just with this vehicle. And we're losing some stuff. Oh yeah, we lost the cover there. Apparently there's a building. I didn't even notice it. Too busy watching. At least he's minding his own business over there, not coming over here bothering us yet. Well, he is working his way over though. Hmm, he can see quite a ways. Well there, he got his wish. He said he wanted to go anyways. Yeah, the other headlights there. I think that's the last thing I'm missing from the vehicle. We'll take a quick peek in here. Doesn't seem like there's much of anything. Just a tiny gas station, it seems. What's in the barrel? Alcohol. Flashlight. Don't need none of that stuff. Nope. We keep going. Let's go see what's in the storm. Hopefully it's not too far away. like we're getting pretty darn close. Now, does anything happen or you just drive through it? I'm trying to go right through the center of it. There, now we're in it. It just makes the visuals really crappy, I guess. I don't hit a rock as we just tip over we're pretty much out of it looks like see how the storms it just affects your vision is all it seems the car sure tips over easily hmm 
yep, back to the road we go. Now we know all it does is just affect your vision. If you do sharp turn, you just like balance on your side two wheels, it seems. Well, not even a sharp turn, you just turn like a little bit more than just like lightly like that. If I do any more than just that, well then you're like on your side two wheels. There's the road. I think our stop is right down there. I think. Unless it's up here a bit. Oh, it's up here a bit. Right there. Oh, looks like the storm's getting up to the road now. So the storm does move. At least not too bad here. Oh, watch out for the rock. There we go. We're already through it. About time we need some lights again, I'd say. Just turn the uh, view of it like down towards the feet more so it's not glaring right in our faces there. There we go. Oh, back to the zigzag in, in the road. Stop there, it looks like. Yep. 
Another gas station. Seeing much here. Coming. Oh, I thought he was running out. Gasoline. And where's the lights? Right here. Oh, yeah, there is no indoor lights for this place. Gas and oil mixture, don't really need that. What the heck is this? Oh, a small engine. Yep. Some sort of paint. Purple. Nope. That's like chrome looking paint. That was mixture, yeah. Don't want that. Take the pure gas though. Just top up the fuel tank for the car. Oh, we got a rabbit. A rabid rabbit rabbit. Rusty looking paint there. I guess it's like an orange. Oh yeah. Depends what angle you look. Or for one I can see anyways, it kinda changed a little bit on the angle I looked at it. Got a little more orange as I went more towards like the door of the building instead of looking from the darker side. And away we go again. Four hundred kilometers we got with the car. That's with the little off-roading though and kind of cutting off to places. That's still progress. Nope, back in the grasslands. Gotta watch out for rocks and rabbits. Cause rabbits are just as bad as hitting a rock, it seems. Maybe even worse. In the tower here we go. Yep. Let's get back on the road so we can see what's in front of us.
watch over that raw. Oh no, we went right over it. Good. Don't need to worry about that stop here on the left either. Not much in those places usually. Oh, yikes. Whoa, we really flew up. We're still alive though, that's what counts. Here, a spaceship somewhere, or a UFO I'll say. There it is. Right within there in the center. Now, let's get the cover back together. It's the passenger door. And we need to find that door. Mm. The headlights are stuck to the rock like it's got eyes. Okay then. Oh, and we lost the hood. Darn. There's the hood trampling down the grass so I can kind of see a little bit here. Oh yeah, it hinges forwards. That's why it wasn't wanting to go. Now I have to figure out... Oh, there it is. Right over here. I was going to say, now I have to figure out where that side door is. And I think we are safe now to go. Not yet, actually. Need to scrub the dash. Can't forget to do that. Then you have to get out, it seems, to uh, let go of the sponge. Oops. There we go. Now we can get back in and go. Let's not run into the rock right away again. There we go. And away we go. See those small rocks like that? Just drive right over them, no problem. That's with these larger size tires. If we had just the regular tires on, well then we'd be catching those rocks. And yeah, that would not be going very well. There's a rock right here, so I need to stay on the road. I wonder if we're getting into some more hills or not that we're going to be going up. Or if it's just the way that it's loading in so far. We're cruising pretty good though.
and yep back to doing our flips through the air and we need to find our hood and I think that's about it and we need to flip the vehicle and put the emergency brake on there we go yep definitely had a crash now we can check to make sure that underneath is all good <laughs> not very much to lose down here we got no axles no like driveline drivetrain this is the exhaust here we need an axle drive shafts we need transmission for the engine here no suspension either on this thing no shocks no struts no leaf springs even no brakes uh oh yeah I have to go back and see uh, the hood I'm missing yeah these rabbits are jumping in out of nowhere Holy jeez, we flew. Because that's the rock right there that I was looking out for. I wonder, is that like a headlight or something there? I seen something here. Or it might be a rock. We are going to find out, though. Because it should be right in front of us somewhere here. See? It's a headlight. Oh! Get out of here, rabbit. Come on. Darn rabbits. Now, from here, there's another rock there. Oh, I see. No, I think that's a rock over down there. Hood must be somewhere kind of close here, I think. But I'm not sure how far off the road it would be. But it should be quite noticeable because it's red. Nothing else here is red. It's all green and a little bit like a tinge of brown. There's tumbleweed going. Kind of look side to side as we go back to the car. Oh, we lost both the headlights. At least we have one there. So now, I'm going to save. And I got an idea. Nope, not that. These. So we can do the space program. And it'll make it that the grass should go away. Like that it'll not be in our visual. And we should be able to see the hood somewhere here. See? And I believe I see it. There we go. And the hood's right over there. Just down from the rock, kind of. Uh oh. Well, that didn't go as well as the first time. And that's why I saved it.
Okay, so now we're going to roll the car back over. And we are going to get that hood. No point in running over there, we can drive. Just have to be careful that we don't run into another rock randomly. Push off the vehicle. And the hood should be somewhere right over here. Right there. See? And actually, the headlight should be somewhere here, too, because we found it somewhere over this way. I'd say. Seems to work better if I'm crouched. Now, where's that missing headlight? Right over there. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, good. That headlight should be somewhere over here, I'd say. I'll just do this again. Oh, went a little bit too far for it. It's just up from the grass there. Nope, nope, nope. And that's why it's good to save. But I do have the autosave shut off. <laughs> Apparently I got that out of the car, but okay. I need some food anyways. Somewhere here for the hood, right here. And the headlight is just a little bit in front of this piece of grass here. Well, the dead grass there. Right there. See? So to the viewer that suggested uh, suggested about the binoculars, that was a very good suggestion. That definitely helped us out this episode. Now, since we're here, might as well save again now that we have everything. There we go. And away we go.
I'll stop over here. There's usually vehicles inside. Sometimes there's not though. Might as well check it out though. And what do we got? Nope, oh, no vehicle. Lots of oil. Let's find some water. Perfect. Uh, don't need alcohol, I'd say. Uh, the car might need some oil. It's not too often, though, that they do. And we're sliding around on uh, pallets, apparently. Add some water to the radiator. There we go. Some water for us. Perfect. Now that should help our health go up. Well, I guess we could drink some alcohol. That'll bring the health up. I do not recommend peeing on stuff like this. I'm just doing it because it's a game. Some diesel. Gas and oil mixture. Some more gas. Just curious to know what's in there. Empty. Alcohol and water in the bucket. Whoa, we got the jitters. Okay, lots of empty stuff. Food we'll take. We seem to enjoy the bacon. And let's keep going. And yeah, no running into rabbits. They're like running into a brick wall. Looking like we got some hills to climb with this thing now. And that is fine because we should do quite well with it. Especially with all this weight reduction from the vehicle. From what I used to have loaded on this thing. making pretty darn good time, I'd say. Oh, maybe not. Oops. Let's just land and hopefully be able to keep going. Perfect.
Yep, we got some hills up here coming up. So that's what it looks like him. Anyway, so. Not overly steep though, but still some hills. We seem to be doing just fine. steering wheel a little bit too aggressively let's get that headlight back in no I have zero must have lost one from that previous rollover down there because I don't see the one here I do have spares in the back though so I'll just do that so we can keep driving tonight I'm supposed to have some spares. Maybe not. I don't think I have any more spare headlights, apparently. I thought I did, but I'm not seeing them, so. There we go. What about here? Nope, that's negative. Okay. Well, that's something I need to uh, stock up on. the headlight. Come on. Holy. Yeah, this thing really likes tumbling around. I think we have everything. Mm. Almost seems like that back hatch is missing. Nope, still there. Okay. We're all right. Let's keep going. to the right. Watch over that rock. I 
thinking might as well just drive all the way through the night. Make some more progress that way. Extra progress, I'd say. I guess it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Because then even if I skip, it doesn't take that long to skip to daylight. As long as I'm not making too many mistakes from driving through the night time. We gotta stop here. We got vehicles, so let's get some headlights, hopefully. Ay, ay, ay. Spaceship again. Oops. We'll just put that over here. There we go. We got one spare now. No, oh, yeah, one of these place with just the exterior lights. Which one's this? Oh, glove box. Ah, glove box cover, I think. And we got tumbleweed photo bombing us, I guess. Or video bombing. Oops. Expected. Might as well do this. There we go. Nothing. What was the pot or whatever? Pottery. And let's top up the fuel in the car, I guess. Back in there. No coolant. Two stroke vehicle with apparently diesel in it. And we have fully looted, I'd say. Let's keep going. We got headlights now. Two of them again, not just the one. And we even have the spare one. So, yep, successful stop. We got some better view now, better vision. And we're just coasting it and we're still doing 160 kilometers an hour. a bit. downhill
and we got daylight again. Perfect. Okay, it was small enough that it was went right under the car. So that's like the main benefit of these white wall tires that we have on this thing compared to the ones that come with it. zigzag road. Look at that. Looks like we got another building coming up. A haunted house, it looks like. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's like a diner or something like that. Yep, that's what it is. Whoa! catch the terrain kicking out of the ground or you might lose a bunch of stuff. And yes, I hear this thing click clacking. That means it's overheating because I lost the radiator. we are missing it's not look like it I'm just gonna pull ahead a little bit closer sure the handbrake goes on or the emergency brake so we don't end up having that roll away down the hill that would suck there we go got some water I need some more again. Ooh. Ay, ay, ay. That was a big one. Not even any vehicles here. What the heck? any more of these darn things some dogs apparently little dirt bike in or a little motorcycle engine for the moped foot crate fuel can food a 
Oh, we got some gas in there. We'll throw it in the car. Keep it topped up. Don't want to be running out. Apparently you can break these windows. It doesn't go far enough. Empty bucket. Yeah, we get water out of those too. I didn't even think about that. They completely missed the toilet. Ay, yeah, yeah. I don't even want to know how that got there. How the heck do you manage to crap on the table? Oh, here's a card. I think this is all I'll take from here. We'll just keep going. Better start coasting it now. I might even need to use the brakes a bit. There we go. I'll keep it around 100, I think. I don't think there's no cruise control. You just have to kind of give it gas here and there when it needs. into the grassy lands. Oh, 
gaining some extra speed again. Just using the uh, emergency brake there, or the hand brake that we keep reaching down for there to keep it around the 100 mark. So yeah, this is decently steep hill by the way it looks. Got a ship over there in distance. Looks like another one over there. bit for any stops it's looking like. But that's fine, we got lots of stuff stockpiled. And then the grass we're just following the roads. If it wasn't grass, if it was desert, I would consider just cutting across over that way since I see the road. Let's get back on the road. Um, but with the grass, you can't see where the rocks are, so that's where I prefer to stay on the road. And we better slow this down a little bit. We're still just coasting. Now we're slowing down. And there's a rock right in the middle of the road for us. There was a little fueling station. Oh, that would be bad hitting that rabbit. There's the next stop. Just up the hill over there a little bit. Still quite a ways away though. Get back on the road. Oop. Seems that there's something wrong. Oh yeah. Definitely something wrong. Whoops. Uh, we might need that space program again. Holy jeez. Yeah, we're missing a few things.
trying to jump on the roof of the car to potentially have a bit of a look. Yeah, that's not telling us nothing. Yep, looks like we need that space program here again. So let's save. Blow the binoculars. And it's looking like it's a little dark. So yeah. Let's wait till daytime for this. Okay, so let's try this now that we got some daylight to use. Now we need three wheels and for sure one door. Whoops. Come on. So there's one wheel over there. Uh oh. Oh no, we're alright. Oh, there they are. They're all right by the hydro pole there. And then there's one just up between us here. Like between the vehicle and the hydro pole, there looks to be another one. It looks like there's something over there to our right. Unless that's just a rock. There we go. Um, we might be able to even drive up there. Oh yeah. Oh, no, no more. I guess not. Nope. It's not happy about that. So somewhere in front here, there was. Yep, there's a wheel. And the rest of the stuff is right at the hydro pole. So if we put this wheel in the back, in the back of the vehicle. Like on our rear wheel here, we should be able to drive up there now. Because we have two rear wheels now. Yep. Perfect. Now the rest of the stuff should just be right here in front of us. And it's so steep that we're rolling backwards apparently. There we go. I believe that's everything. Yeah, we even have our headlights still for once. Yep. Let's keep going. Oh, not yet. Gotta wash off that dash. That sponge is used. 
No more good. Bye bye. I'm just going to bring it up to this a little bit more level ground here. And I'm going to save now that we have all the parts back with the vehicle. Might as well, so we don't have to do that again if I crash up here shortly. I don't think I will. I don't plan on it, but just in case. And... I'm just trying to get some food so the health doesn't go down. There we go. Yeah, we pick up and drop food, but it doesn't last to do that with the sponges. Interesting. Well, there's the ship right there beside us, kind of. But, nope, we keep going. on now oh we lost our dash panel there. we're still rolling that's why it's accelerating a bit it's so now where did that go? Usually it falls inside the car. Usually. It's not over here, is it? It's right on the road right there. Otherwise, I was thinking I might have to... Whoops. I was thinking I might have to uh, go back to where I just saved there. But again, that's why it's handy to save. I don't like having auto saves though. Because from when I used to use that... It always seemed like it always saved in like the worst time possible. So with like my luck it'd be like right when I crash well then it'd like save then. And then that'd be when well and you have all your stuff missing and then you have troubles finding it. So that's where I prefer manually saving it as long as I remember to save every so often. But sometimes you get carried away and you forget, so that can run into problems as well. But so far it's worked out alright for me, so that's why I continue to um, have it this way. See what's here. Ooh. Yeah, I should stop opening up those things, I think. 
Got some fuel though, at least. Yeah, that's not very enjoyable for the ears. Soccer ball. <laughs> well, it bounces. Oh, and there's the fridge. Nope. Oil can does not bounce around like the soccer ball did. Let's try the cone. Now bring it closer and fling it. Nope. Just a soccer ball. Keep on the road, not slide off the edge of the cliff. It's a bit of a ledge there. Nope. Oh. Uh oh. Ah, great. Down the cliff we go. <laughs> Crap. Do we have everything? Lost one headlight. We have everything else. That's not bad. I'm not too concerned about the headlight, but I wouldn't mind getting it back if it's easy to find. going then. I got spares. That's why I'm not too concerned about it. And yes, so let's not go too quickly again so I don't lose control. And here we go again. Let's do some off road off roading. Screw it.
Whoa. Maybe not. Still got our doors at least. There we go. Again? Yeah, I think it's about time to switch vehicles if we find a decent one. I'm just trying to slow down and we're rolling. There we go. Yep, still got our doors. I'm just coasting it now. the uh, handbrake here to regulate the speed. Yellow bus stop. Hmm. But nope, we keep going. Aw, oh, darn. Spaceship. And we got rabbit troubles. At least we snuck past them. There we go. Got power again. Oops. Regulate the speed still. I guess 
for leveling out because I was losing speed. I thought I still had the handbrake on, but nope. Uh oh. Ooh, that was a close one. We just barely clipped that rock. Got another stop here. And another vehicle that's a no go. It's like a Volkswagen Beetle or a bug. some light now. Wrong door. Oh, nope. He's back here. There you are. <laughs> the others will kill you. We'll see about that, mister. Ooh, a rifle. Not much ammunition, though. Ooh, come on now. I need to stop doing that. That's harsh on the ears. Mm. No headlights in there. Uh, yeah, there wasn't any in here that I recall seeing. something up here oh the little motorbike oops not the sword but we got one already gas and oil mixture nope and some paint nope Just thinking, see if we can walk on the power lines or not. And no, I fell right through it. Oh, makes it look like the ship was like right beside the road, but it was not. I'm just gonna check the recording. And yep, it's an hour and a half, so we'll be cutting off here. So thanks for watching, and we will be seeing you guys next episode. We did. Uh, what, about 70, 75 kilometers this, uh, kilometers this episode? So that's pretty good. And just shut everything off. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next episode.